everyone. This is Japel Hernandez and welcome to the Japel Hernandez podcast. We always talk about success stories and inspiring people, inspiring each other to be better with our lives and to just be the best person we can be. Today is I'm inviting a friend and um you know I, I've invited mu- music producers, businessmen and now this is one person that I've seen and look up to on how he has risen and changed the corporate landscape every wherever he is or the people he touches you know i've realized whenever i talk to him that i would just be inspired and and grow and just um on fire so you know the company that he works for today he's a top executive there he's a, the vp for sales and operations for the top fast food company in the philippines and soon in the world and i i, I for me it's the best Um, I'll give a big, big disclaimer. The company that he's a part of is um, um, a stock that I really buy. I hold it long term. Here's my rationale. This is a brand that I want to hold for 20 years or 30 years or 40 years because I know it's something that I want to pass on to my family, to my, to my children. So, so that's really, that's why I just keep on holding on to this brand. And it's not about the dividends. It's 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 really being a co-owner of, of of that company. That's why I love it. And every time we drive towards it, my son says says the name. So and that's why I fall in love even more with it. It's like my son's friend. And but with that being said, um, this guy that I'm interviewing, he is just an amazing leader, and um, the way he affects the people that around him just makes him them better. So if you want to succeed wherever you are, and and we're gonna talk about leadership during crisis, crisis, um, because you know, a lot of people are fake leaders because they're only leading through fear and the title, but true leadership is is making things work even in a crisis because if you're leading through um only through um fear and authority and 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 titles during a crisis things will fall apart but you know if you're a leader that's really amazing things will get better so with, without further ado let me invite let me introduce to you sorry my dear friend a leader that i definitely am a fan of john velasco hi john <laughs> Hey bro, thank you very much for this uh, invitation. I, I feel honored and uh, hearing your introduction. It, it just uh, inspires me further. Uh, while you were saying those things, I was asking myself, Tama ba? Kinawa ko ba yun? Tama ba? <laughs> Kinagawa ko ba yun? Okay, sige. Okay, sige. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, it, it's always a pleasure Uh, having you uh, in a conversation, and I, I remember that last conversation we had, the on sa coffee shop near my previous office, de ba? So, and it, it also inspired me and reinvigorated me, and uh, it's the same hope that I have now. Uh, in as much as I would be giving and sharing some things to you. I am also excited because I know I, I'd also be going out with a lot of learnings and uh, a lot of insights uh, from you as well. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Thank you, bro. Thank you brother. Um, John, um, can you share what are your day-to-day responsibilities in your current job? Because I know it can be vast. Yeah, well, in all honesty, it, it's, it's harder nowadays managing, managing teams, leading mm. teams. Because unlike before, iba, you, you'll go to the office, tapos uh, kaharap mo sila, kakausapin mo sila, guide mo sila, you're able to tell them why are we going to do things. Now, you have to do things uh, via digital. Yes. Without, with, without and, and actually the type of leader na, you know, I, I, I would, yun yung hinaharap ko na, I could tap you, uh, you know, on the back and I yeah. could hold you. Y- yun yung challenge ngayon eh. So, yes. so now my, my day-to-day role is ha- how do I translate all of these things, leading, guiding, strategizing, following through, making sure that uh, people are okay. How do you mm. do it now in, the, in a, in a yes. different world? Uh, so, in, so typical, typical like, like any other company, we are in a recovery stage right now. 
and we are more than hoping that uh, we will not just survive but thrive uh, in in this pandemic. Yes, and yes. I guess short answer to your question: What is your day-to-day activity? What I realize is that earlier I was saying it's difficult because that my physical ngayon digital. What I realize there's also a, a similarity. In the end, it's all about leading people, mm-hmm, inspiring mm-hmm. them, and making sure that you achieve results through people, through 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 leaders that you are also creating, that you are also guiding. Wow. And in the end, you know, make them feel that they are part of a bigger mission. You know, yes. like like this company that I am working for, we have this mission. Uh, so if I say the mission, you'll already know which company. Is. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, in the end, it's all about taking care of the people so that they'd be able to take care of your business. Wow! So regardless wow. if it's digital or if it's physical, you know, I love what you were saying, bro, about you know taking care of the leaders and people. It gives me a sense that it's not about you. It's not about oh I'm on top. Look at me, I'm the executive here. It's it's about developing. It's making people win. Have you ever had that feeling? Um, how do you deal with this? Because you develop people with with developing them, being great. You want them to be great, and also not being afraid to leave you. Because once they're great, they, that's a big risk that they can leave. Yung, yung, the training, saya. I mean, if you're scared, if you're insecure, you, or whatever, you can be. Uh, how, how do you deal with that? How do you prepare for for that? You train them, you believe in them, they, but they have the power to stay with you and grow with you, but also leave. It's in the end. In in the end, you you take comfort in the fact that you've touched their lives, and it. And I'm not romanticizing this, but at the end of the day, it's all about helping people. Eh? Yes. Uh, I've been reading about this, and when when you when you ask people what is their purpose, I mean, great people, what what are your purpose, etc. You, it all boils down to helping someone outside mm. you, helping. Mm. Another help yes. other, and I take comfort in the fact that true they will leave me because you know you would help them achieve their full potential. But I, I guess two things: eh? number one, you are grateful because they've been part of they, they've been they've been uh, they've contributed to to your goals mm. to achieve whatever you want to achieve. They they've helped you, and so you should be grateful. Sino tulungan kanila? But second, it take comfort in the fact na at least na natulungan ko siya, natulungan niya ako, pero natulungan ko din siya to move forward it. or upwards. I love it. I I have a in my previous company, I so her name is Kat. She she used to be uh she she used to be one of the junior analyst in 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 that company. And original initially she was She was doubtful of her ability, mm. of her strengths, but over time, because of the coaching, because of the simple kaya mo yan, because of because I gave her difficult assignments, she would say, "Bakit? Bakit mo ako pinapahirapan? Bakit? Bakit? Bakit pag ganito ako yung gagawa?" Hindi kasi meron kang ibang perspective, and I want it to be shown. I want you to share it, because she would. So she's ano? Ah, she's doing analytics, Excel, pero she presents it in a manner na hindi. Hindi wow. mathematical, hindi she would Bira make jokes, yung She would make jokes out of it. Like like some uh one time in the in a business review, I think Christmas na siya pa Christmas. We I was we were surprised. Ang ang, ang tema niya was 12 ano to? 12 days of Christmas. Yun yung title niya. 12 days of Christmas. Pero it turned out it was 12 things that we need to do to improve our sales right now so that it will be Christmas wow. every day. Tapos inisa-isa. Wow. So people at the very beginning, interested na kaagad sa kanya. Yes, sa kanya. yes. Di ba, antipical? Kasi, ay, ay, Excel, boring yan. Kasi, ay, instead of having PowerPoints, 
I would usually have people use Excel eh, para makita na nila at hindi yes, na sila mahirap. Full mag- details. Mag- full yes. details na, diba? And then, you go through explaining it. When when I left my previous company, uh, four months after, she calls me. Sabi niya, Sir, I know, I need to have coffee with you. Sabi ko, why? Why? Uh, usa- kausapin mo naman ako kasi I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna be doing something. She was pirated by another company and now she's the head of uh, analytics of wow. that company. It's wow. also a te- it's a technology company by the way. Ah. So unti lang yung kaya nun, ah. <laughs> diba? So when, when, so na nung una parang isip ko uh, ang galing, ang galing, ang galing niya na, 'di ba? Oh, malulungkot ka ay malis na rin siya doon, 'di ba? Pero that's the attitude that I have now. Very thankful ako kasi tinulungan niya ako doon during those times when I was with that company, helping people understand their numbers, their their results. Hmm. But at the same time, yun, thankful ako and I, I, I am hopeful, thankful din siya kasi nakatulong ako sa kanya in one way or the other. Wow. So that's my view about it, bro. Galing. It's, it's really... I love... You know, I've, I've noticed this, bro, with, with people I talk to, great people no matter what your job is, na very successful people don't look at comparisons or what's in it for me. Hindi sila ganun mag It's always about how can I help this person? How can I help someone else? And, and then for some reason or another, um, whether you're, or, or you're a Christian or not, yeah. somehow good things happen to you the more you help others na hindi ka lang puro reklamo. And, and that's what I really get into it. Um, ang galing, ang galing. And um, bro, what about yung now? What is your, in a sense, so you're going to digital, it's still the same people and, and now because you're, you're the kind of company you're in, it's very, um, how do you say this? Facing, people facing um, yung um, business drivers eh. So, how does your schedule look like? Because, you know, it's easy to be a boss, but it's hard to lead. So, how do you manage your schedule, your responsibilities, your deliverables, your numbers, etc.? It's very good that you ask because, you, you know, the first step, you have to take care of yourself first. Yun yeah. muna. Yourself first. And it's not being selfish. I'll, I'll explain. Sure, sure, sure. Lalo na sa panahong ito. You have to take care of yourself. Uh, you should be able the, the the right sleep, the right amount of of, of sleep. Um, the you continuously study and learn. You manage your emotions. Kasi lalo na ngayon, you're just facing a computer uh, and you don't go out of the house. Yes. Napakahirap na eh. Uh, so yung taking care of yourself in even if it baka sabihin mo minor even yung every 30 minutes or every hour dapat you stand up you walk and you look far away kasi otherwise yung mata mo mahihilo ka or mabubuti yeah. ka yung mga maliliit na bagay na yon or, yes. and have some water beside you um and, and you know uh it's important to take care of yourself wow. kasi bro sasabihin, so tinatanong mo ako, how do you lead now, ba? Diba? Kasi dun din ako nagsisimula when I talk to the people that I work with, that I lead. And they have to take care of themselves first. Wow. Kasi wow. if they're not taking care of themselves, we can't do this. This, this is, this is ano eh, this is radically different from the way we are doing things now, eh, before eh. So I, I always ask, I, I have regular check-in with people when, kaya mata- mas matagal yung meeting pero I, I I I I put this 10 to 15 minutes asking I, I call it check in then check yes. out I, I you you might be familiar with this diba? yes uh in check in is just basically asking them how are you what's what's happening kwentuhan mo ako then you know if she's taking care of herself or himself de ba uh then you inject there eh, the connection huy wag kang pag pag masyado nang madami yung pinapagawa ko or tingin mo sobra na sabihan mo ako ha ah, i mean or if if you need help wag mong wag mong solohin ha ah. you you ask for help okay uh, 
So the way to manage it is to ensure that you tell people that you work with. First and foremost, you take care of yourself. Okay? Because I'm taking care of myself. And when you take care of yourself, it also includes yun, time management then. Time management. Yes. Uh, sunod, sunod na siya eh. Sunod, sunod na siya. If you're taking care of yourself, may self, self-awareness ka. And the, the most, I think the most important aspect of being a leader is self-awareness eh. Doon yeah. na nagpapit lahat yun eh. Yes. Um, and people will see it. Um, example bro. Uh, so as much as possible, I, I, I now manage my meetings in a day. Maximum seven. Seven. Okay. Seven, okay. eight. Prior to that, when, the, when COVID started, 12, eh, umaabot ako 10, 12. Wow. Eh. It's hard. Don't do that. I, so to the listeners, don't do that. So now, <laughs> I will ensure na seven, seven, seven max of eight. Eight na siya. One time, I exceeded. I, I went on towards my, yung, when I realized this na, I was it going to my ninth meeting. Wow. Going to my ninth meeting, I called my assistant. Ay ko, ma'am, parang nahihilo yata ako. Tawagan mo lahat ng mga ka-meeting ko. And it was a big meeting. Sabihin mo, pasensya na. Uh, parang nahihilo yata ako or nasusuka. And it was an acknowledgement at napagod ka na. And I had to share that to, the, to, the, to those people nung nag, when we started again, when we resumed the meeting the following day. And I think showing to them that vulnerability is very powerful na ay tao rin pala siya napapagod. Yes, Because yes. when you do that, you also give them the, the chance and the power to say, Sir, pagod na ako. Hmm. Lalo na sa mga panahong to. Yes. Sir, ano, and I, I give them that and even in a joking manner, eh, sinasabi ko na, sabihin nyo ha, pag pagod na, time out na, peace na sir, time out na, time out na. And yung term na yun na time out, hindi alam ng millennials yun eh, di ba? Kasi pang mga oldies yun eh. So, you can tell me time out na, time out. So, so self-awareness, time management, vulnerability, you show that to them. Wow. Then you allow them also to, to be vulnerable. Then you allow them to be honest with you. And I think these are very, these are core ingredients yes. of how you run a business now or how you lead a team now towards results. Wow. And I think yung last is you can deal with big team things, uh, teams, you, you deal with small teams and one-on-ones, no? In the end, big, small teams or one-on-ones, it's all about conversations. Yeah, yeah. So nowadays, I, I guess I wanted to end on, on that so that you could ask some more, no? Um, it's all about managing the conversations. Yes. Uh, if it's a one-on-one, are we aligned doon sa direction? What do you need? What help do you need? Because today, like, again, today I had my one-on-ones with three of my people and it was all about aligning. Ano yung priority mo? Aligned ba siya doon sa priority? Mm, galing. Uh, And then I go ask, bakit yan? Bakit yan yung priority mo versus itong previous na binanggit ko? Then it becomes, ano, you just become curious. You should be curious lagi eh. Bakit? Anong meron? May nakikita ka ba dyan sa unit mo mm-hmm. na iba dito sa context ng strategy? Then ini-explain nila. Sabi ko, huwag ka matakot ha, hindi sa pinapagalitan ka. I want to understand kasi you, are, you might be onto something there eh, that I need to understand. So again, conversations. If it's a big team, ganun din. You encourage, of course, you give them guidance, you give them direction, but you let them speak up. Mm. Because you're not the only holder of the solution. Eh. Galing. Um, and in the end, your solution plus theirs, it can be one plus one, or it can be no, mas better yung kanila, or hindi, uh, given this insight, parang mas okay pa din na ito, yung binanggit ko sa yung strategy. Yun, conversations, then you follow through with whatever agreements, alignment that you have, Be it sales targets, be it customer engagement directions, uh, be it launch of a new product, ganun siya. So, it's all about managing self, managing, uh, helping others manage themselves, then having the conversations to ensure that you are aligned, be it small, big teams, and then in the end, for the company, kung aligned kayo, then you'd be fine, you'd be fine. Even Galing. if mahirap ngayon, you'd be fine. Uh, so powerful. Alam mo bro, um, 
Tinamaan ako. Because there are times during this pandemic na parang nahihiya ako magpahinga. Yung ganun. And, and honestly, and I'm being vulnerable to you and to everyone that's listening. And you're right. You're, you're really right. And um, there is something that I need to think about. And, and, and then figure out how to apply it for our, our, our job, for our company, what we do. And, and as you were saying it, like, oh, yep, yep, he's right. He's right. He's right. So, you know, yun lang. But it was not like that ah, in the beginning for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was not like that. So, until I, until I, parang nag-vertigo ako, yung sabi ko, shucks, this is not working. And then, then I had to inject na my exercises. Yes. Yung, Galing. I, I do CrossFit eh. And then, then I realized, shucks, hindi pwedeng ako lang. Pati sila dapat. Kasi, yeah, yeah. If if this is for the this is not for the short term, eh? this is for the long haul. That's right. And my my boss, the the president, also told that to me. Eh. Sabi niya, sabi niya, Sir John, hindi pwede pala na ano na puk anin term niya sa gaden. Di natin pwede sa gaden, Sir John. Ah, uh, in fact, nagjoke sa Sir John isang beses, di ba na kwento natin? Sabi natin mag-beer tayo, ano? hindi rin pala siya Sir John sustainable, sabi niya sa akin ganun. Kasi kung every time beer or wine yung ano natin, recourse, hindi pwedeng six months, seven months, one year down the road ang recourse natin is, ano, is wine or beer. We really have to authentically, I mean, and, and, and tama, correctly take care of ourselves. So, so yes. powerful. Ang ganda. Thank you so much. Ang ganda-ganda ng sinasabi niyo, brother. Um, I, I really believe it's so, so beautiful. Um, Kaling, um, you know, I, I really love it because um, kami mismo, when in our, in our, every Monday, uh, we have a 2 p.m. team meeting. Kasi pag morning, the, mo, Monday morning, nagkahagulo with whatever. So, 2 p.m., we always start with gratitude. Talagang, what have you been grateful for for the past week? And, and we trickle it down sa pinaka, you know, lowest staff because it's easy, what you're saying, it's easy to be um, sad looking at the problem but there's always you can be honest and I just love love what you're saying thank you thank you so much you, bro. Hmm. so powerful um, and you know brother as we move forward I just wanna you know I honor you for not giving up and because because you what you do eh, what you represent takes care of a lot of people and tanggalin mo na yung akin honestly tanggalin mo na yung company you work for eh it's livelihoods of people eh. Livelihood and, and they, they provide for family members. I just want to ask you something because this is something that I've been dealing with lately and Shep, oh, na nakausap ko about it. Um, so, so we're in a, the logistics business and yung staff namin, mga driver pahinante, sila na lang sa family nila yung may work or, or like, kanyari, a community of, of so, so parang talagang hirap na hirap. And then nag-uusap kami. And then, sir, so, talagang sabi ko, Pari, sorry. Talaga, alam mo naman ngayon, um, kahit may work, minsan may 120 days tayo. And then, and I've been re- really transparent. Hindi naman tayo lugi, pero talagang now, cash allocation has really been, I'm really mastering it now. <laughs> talagang ganyan. Um, and, and, then, and then just really understanding where they're coming from. How do you deal with it? Yung mga specially people na hindi naman ganun kalaki sweldo. How do you take care of them? And you, you need them to perform, pero you have to also take care of them. I, I mean, just... Yeah, yeah. I, one of my assistants uh, was, was part of the group who was redundated. Mm. And of course, may, may assistant na na iwan. Uh, so to your question, uh, how do you take care of them? Uh, what I realize, giving them, giving, giving them time just to share, just to speak up, mm-hmm. without you even giving a solution. Kasi minsan tayo ang tendency natin ano eh, may ganon din ako mistake. Hindi, ganito gamin mo dyan. Ang dami mong ibibigay na suggestion. Mag-online ka. Or ito, mag-ganito ka. Mag, uh, o ito, i-refer kita dito. Gawin mo to. Or, or mag-sideline ka. Gawin mo to. 
na realize ko ano what is more helpful to them and I, I don't know if this can also help you you just give them time mm, give them time so powerful. um and this one this this assistant of mine um before she got redundated what i would do is in in between my visits sa mga facilities sa mga pinupuntahan kong stores uh Usually kapag may long drive na ako from the store going back sa dito na sa condo, uh, I usually parang once a week yan eh. I would call her. I would call her. Uh, tapos naka ano naman, naka wireless. I would just ask her, ma'am, balita, kwentuhan mo ako. So alam na niya yun. Cue na yun sa kanya na mag-share na siya ano yung issues niya, anong challenges niya, both sa work and sa personal. Or magtatanong mm. lang siya. Uh, And the reason why I'm sharing this, when she got redundated, uh, I thought all along she would be devastated, she would be hurt, etc. And you know, I was surprised. Because when I had that, again, conversation, she said, Alam mo, sir, yung, nung sinabi mo sa akin ito, itong, itong mangyayari sa akin, kala ko maiyak ako or matatakot ako, pero given madaming beses na tayo in the past, na nag-uusap, for some reason, nahanda ako, naihanda ako sa mga mangyayari. Oo, alam ko, uh, baka it would take some time, baka par- bago ako makakuha ng trabaho. But that, then again, sabi nga, I, I'm still very grateful to the company because they are giving me something hmm. uh, na significant. But you know, sir, sabi niya, I, I thought I would really be devastated, but I am not. And the reason I'm sharing this is, sabi niya, thankful ako kasi you've always given me time. And oh, it, was so actually, it was actually what I use. Sabi niya, ikaw yung ano eh, sinasound off ko sa'yo. Hindi ko alam, nakikinig ka ba sa mga kabaliwan ko? Hindi <laughs> ko alam, nakikinig ka lang. Di ko alam, feeling ko, minsan hindi ka nakikinig, pero basta nandyan ka lang. Pero sabi niya, it helped me kasi it allowed me to process that wow. this time would come. That there is a chance that this time would come na wala akong trabaho or or challenge ako. Uh, so I guess, I guess, for example, doon sa mga kasamahan mong drivers or pahinante, kasi naniniwala ako yung solution, alam na nila yun eh. Yes. It, the yes. most powerful solution is that solution that came from them eh. Came from them eh. So, That's right. We can always give suggestions, but in the end, we don't fully understand and appreciate their context. So, so ako ganun, sab- nung narealize ko yun, Okay, so makikinig na lang talaga ako. Um, mm-hmm. Sige, magsasabi ako ng suggestions. Pero in the end, yun, you know what, bro? Naging ending niya right now. She's actually a virtual assistant. Wow! Uh, tapos she told me, Sir, you know, mas better ngayon. Because I have time <laughs> for my daughter and my son. Kasi ang hirap ng online education. Sabi niya, e, busy ako sa'yo lagi. <laughs> Sabi niya, busy ako sa'yo lagi. So ngayon, I have time for my daughter and my son. Uh, they're doing online class. Had it been, if this did not happen, hindi, hindi ko ngayon maasikaso yung mga anak ko kasi yung husband ko is an OFW. Is so is yun, that, that, that's my, my thinking process there. Kasi minsan, nisip natin, we hold the solution. Yes. Yes, ko parang realize ko dun, oo nga naman, sino ako para diba, magbigay sa kanya ng solution, di ba? Ang galing kasi, you know, um, theoretically, iba yung tuturo ng school, whatever books, pero sa totoo, leadership is really people talaga yun eh. People care. It, yeah. It's treating people as humans. It's giving them dignity by listening to them, taking care of them, and I love what you're saying. Thank you, bro. Pero don't get me wrong, bro. I'm not perfect. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I was... <laughs> uh, I, I had a one-on-one with one of my one of the people I'm I'm leading, and I had to apologize kanina because I I thought the intention of helping her was there. Na miss palanya yon, na my intention was to help. So I had to emphasize her. Nde kaya ako sinabi yon ang intention ko lang tumulong not to put you down. Oh. So kaya continuous ano siya lage? Ano yon conversation check check talaga. And sad thing actually, kaya ako siya kinausap kanina, 
I got a feedback not from her, from another person na shinare sa kanya. So, si Sir John, parang feeling ko na offend ako na parang ano na ano to, yung term niya para naman nagmukha ako hindi ko alam yung ginagawa ko. So, it hindi siya perfect eh, but when there are instances na na-call out ka, immediately dapat ano mag-reach out ka and That's you know, right. explain yourself. I guess bro, with that, you know, um With what we do in life, whatever your job position is, as long as you you have influence over others, people different people will different people will have different ways of receiving whatever, whether good or bad. But I just want to honor you because um, I've met many executives, <laughs> and not all are kind. Not all care. At least care. Just just that. May pakialam sa tao. Sometimes it's about them. I, I mean, I've dealt with people. Nagrereklamo, sir, na ba to yung ginawa ko? Pinagpuyat ako six months. Nagtake ng buong credit busko. Parang ganon tayo ko. Ganon talaga minsan. But anyway, let's move forward. Thank you. Good job. And um, bro, you've been working with um, great organizations, great leaders, great, great. You've been surrounded with amazing people. What are your learnings from from these CEOs, presidents, or your mentors? How have these people helped you to be the leader that you are today? Uh, good, very good question. So, so my, in my previous company, uh, very I, I learned from him the power of culture, mm. the power of of he he taught me that. The leader is the culture, so he told me that once. I, I, I didn't get. I mean, your leader is the culture. And then he, he, what I realized was, if you're a leader and you like to propagate a particular culture, like for example, you were, you were sharing, de ba, na a caring culture, a, a culture that cares for the people. Then it's not some. Then if you want that culture propagated. Then you should be that culture. I, yung dala dala mo yon. Mm, that's right. Be it that's in right. small instances, be it in small instances, or even big instances. Lalo na kung kung uh, difficult instances na na you would be challenged. Sige nga, pakita mo nga na talagang caring ka, de ba? Uh, I, I I I learned that eh. So and it's always it's always And the reason why you're caring for people because you know that they are the ones who can make a difference. That's right. That's right. And it's not just because you care for them because they deliver sila ng results. I, ako personally, I, I don't want it to view that way because it would become parang utilitarian. Diba? Dapat ang view doon is I care for them because they can make the, a difference. Ooh. I learned that from the CEO of my, of my of my previous company, and it's very powerful. I, I carry it up to now, and I continuously ask myself: If this is the culture that I want to propagate, do do I live it? Do I do I do it? Um, so that's one. Siguro I'll share another. No, um, he oh the power of follow through. The power of follow through. Uh, so culture and follow through. This is. Because at the end of the day, diba, you have, you'd have very good strategies, yeah. you'd have brilliant concepts. Uh, a, a leader who cares um, follows through. Mm. Follows through. Uh, be it to the person you've assigned it or to, to a team you've assigned it. Because the premise don is you are clear with your vision, mission, you're clear with your direction and guidance, right? So make clarity. Now, if there is clarity, then people should be able to do what they need to do, because the again the premise is you've allowed them resources to be able to deliver things, right? But sometimes conditions are not ano eh are not always perfect. And daming issues, de ba? And daming problema and that thing. Sa Filipino culture, ang tendency natin is pag may pag may problema, hindi mo na siya sinasabi sa sa boss. Yes, Typical yes. Filipino culture, right? Yes. Uh, uh, so, ako, I find it very useful to follow through. 
to have mm. I, I call it checkpoint meetings. Yes. Not yet the update meeting. It's just a, it's just a checkpoint na uh, okay, sabi natin ilo-launch natin tong product na to at i with so much uh, sales etc. Some people they would say, "Oh sige, ready na kayo." Tapos titingnan na lang yung numbers come the launch day. Come and So ako, I mean, the, the the data that you will receive there's already a lag indicator eh, lag. Yes. So good leaders follow through what is, it means so between the the time that you've given the guidance, the stru- instruction and strategy between the actual launch, dapat may follow through ka doon. So um you should have asked or you should have aligned na o sige, anong critical elements na dapat nandoon so that we know we would be successful. Then you have ano checkpoint meetings leading to that. Kasi for and then you know ask them to be honest. Hoy, anong problema mo? Uh, may problema ba tayo doon or anong challenges nyo? Then the role of the leader there after following through is to help. Help at mm-hmm. so kunarin may issue sa resource or may issue na sir sabi natin gagawin to ni ganon eh hindi nangyari, di ba? Mm-hmm. Since na follow through mo yon, you can then ask your counterpart, you know, leader in that in that unit Um, diba, sir, may ganito kasing deliverable, hindi siya ma-deliver ng mga tao kasi may hindi pa daw na di-deliver yung group mo. Is there something that we could assist you on or help you? Yung ganun. So these things, this these two things that I'm mentioning, hindi siya usually on the top of the list na sinasabi na, na learnings. But to me, these are powerful. Um, a caring culture uh, because people make the difference. And following through because following through is actually the secret towards very good execution. Yeah. Galing. Ah, I love it. You know, everything that you're talking about is is like um I'm going to tell people if you don't want to read the leadership book, listen to this episode because I I love it. It's really something very practical and 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 you know, it's really the culture following through and and these are traits that people how do I say this? Um, minsan, di lang naiisip na sobrang importante. Akala lang, wala lang. Pero, you know, tama ka eh. I've sat in meetings with a wonderful PowerPoint presentation. Tapos after two months, la. <laughs> End of the quarter. Nangyari. 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 That's a not, that's a powerful thing that I, kasi you don't want to say that, nangyari. And mm. it's also social care. Kasi, don't check come the time that it's launching mm. uh, you, you 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 should be able to also do your homework as a leader yeah what are you the know, it, elements diba? one of my uh, leadership my, my mentors also taught me and is um, you have to set up your people for success and you, you have to, to to do i mean just to i think just adding or my reflection from what you're saying na oh okay, you know parang kailangan mo rin sila ma-ready to succeed. Kasi pag they su- have small success, they wanna do better and everyone wins. Yes. Basically. Galing. Galing. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Now, now, bro, from everything that you have learned, um, if there is one thing that you bring every day, one one small thing. Some people think kasi to su- be successful, to be good at something, you have to do crazy things. Like, grabe. Like, you walk on fire. But sometimes it's the smallest habits the smallest things that you do um what are the thing what are the habits that you practice or have been practicing that brought you at your age um very young to be a vp sales and oper- for sales vp for sales and operations for such a big conglomerate and, and more than anything that the success you have the influence you have over people what are your habits that have prepared you For, for this I, what comes to mind on top of mind is is, is really listening Ooh. listening is ano eh uh, I it's something that as a leader you should force yourself be quiet listen I, I do that to myself eh. kasi minsan tendency ko <laughs> dahil alam ko na yan alam ko na kung saan ka papunta pero ako I force myself makinig ka muna may something yan So yes. I tell that to myself, my something. Uh, I realize that that listening is is ano eh. 
it allows you to to appreciate how people think and it helps you refine your own thinking. Para kang nangongopya yes. na, na legit. Yes. <laughs> Para yes. kang nangongopya na legit. Yes. And then listening, you couple it with asking questions. Yung mm-hmm. questions that yung 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 practice the art of yung curiosity, yung curious ka lang, curious ka lang like like kanina I was talking to a partner, to a business partner. And we were supposed to discuss actually the direction for his store, for his store. Mm. Pero I began the meeting with ano. Cuz sir, may tatanong lang ako sa iyo before tayo mag-start. Uh, anong opinion mo dito? Anong tingin mo dito sa strategy na to? Then he started sharing na. Started sharing, started sharing, started sharing. Sir, pag ito ginawa kasi natin, tingin ko hindi yan tugma doon sa need ng customer. Mm. Ko, sabi niya, hindi ko sir na observing customer, pero yung personal experience ko as a customer, wow. mas kukustuhin ko na ito yung gawin natin. Kasi tingin ko, mas ma-appreciate ko yun. So, so after that, yung, and I actually came from a meeting eh, where that particular question was being discussed in the board. I came from a board meeting earlier. Eh. That was a piece of question that was being discussed. So, hindi ko alam yung sagot eh, during that time. <laughs> so, yung next meeting ko, tinanong ko doon. Tinanong ko sa kanya. So, minsan kasi when you're looking very near, hindi mo maisip yung sort of yes. things. Then she was sharing, sharing a lot of things. Then I was just listening. So listening is powerful and asking questions I think ah, makes it more powerful pa. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. So yeah. if you ask me ano yung kinikerry ko, yun. And again, hindi gan- ako ganito dati. Dati nun, alam ko na yung solution. Alam ko na ito yung gagawin dyan. And then I realized it limits me. It limits my own capability. But when you listen, it multiplies you. Mm. Multiplies mm. you. Listening multiplies you. Eh. Ganda. Ganda. Listening and asking questions multiply you. And you know, the best sales people that I have learned from says always, is say, sales is listening and solving people's problem. And I really believe that they're in, in, in a great job. You're really, because you care. It's bas- basically, business is solving problems. And, yeah. the, and thank you, bro, for that. Um, more than anyone, I think I was the one who is blessed the most, <laughs> who will listen. I, I, I really f- am so grateful for the time you have given me, bro. Um, I know you have, we're, we're almost done. We're, I, time flies so fast. Brother, um, you've already achieved success. You and your, you and your wife. Your wife is so amazing, um, so wonderful successful also in her own right but what are your dreams now because you've already achieved so much what are your dreams now in your heart in in my heart i, I think i, I shared this now prior to the start of the interview uh, I, I i i want to see this country now when i'm older and my 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 daughter is 30 40 years old and they're more proud of who they are, what they are as a Filipino. I mean, I'm not mm. being, uh, this is not being patri- uh, patriotic, but you know, it's, it's my, my dream is, it's actually, you know, when, when, I'm, when I'm dead, you know, m- sana in one way or the other, nakatulong ako. Ooh, Linda. Or, for my daughters, and this might be selfish, but you know, if it's true for my daughters, it's probably gonna be true for the other daughters and sons as yes. well. Eh, yes. Na they are proud of their 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 being Filipinos, they are proud of their country, and because and there's a reason why I I, I that, that's my dream. Eh? Cause if they're proud of being a Filipino, they would always you know uh, be comfortable sharing. Not just mm. in the country, but outside, to the outside world, diba? Mm. So they have something to give, eh? yes. So that's, I think, that's my dream. Um, to have a Philippines where 
my daughters uh, would be you know proud of, uh, of, of of their lineage of their of their country of their race yeah wow so beautiful and i shared that dream with you wholeheartedly in the small area i i i am part of what i do i really believe that filipinos are world class true true tama tama it's just a matter of you know bring it out and yeah the next generation will really blossom i really pray for it correct correct bro john uh oh, bro john is a feast john uh, <laughs> uh one last question um what are you how, what have you been grateful for during this year because it's a very crazy question what grateful for during a pandemic but i knowing you i'm sure you have something to share you know <laughs> there is David, at the start but i said i look forward to this conversation i am grateful for surprise conversations yung yung ganito uh, with you with with kasi we need it eh. we need to have conversations uh with friends with long lost even long lost friends even friends from abroad even friends na hindi mo nakikita all of a sudden magzo-zoom kayo mm. and i'm actually thankful for zoom yes <laughs> for zoom diba na who would have thought bro i mean Two years ago, three years ago, nagkukwentuhan tayo na ganito na siya at comfortable ka nang mag-express. Yes, diba? yes. I'm thankful for this because it, we still, we are still able to evolve the, the process by which we connect each other. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, I'm also thankful, so that's on the on these things, no? I'm also thankful for the fact that uh, I think we Filipinos, we are resilient. Yes. Uh, I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, I am thankful for the people I work with. I am thankful for my family, for my relatives, for my friends. Kasi they exhibit varying degrees of resiliency. Uh, mm. Makikita mo, may mga kaibigan mo, nag online selling. Yeah. Uh, may mga kaibigan ka na out of nowhere, kakamustahin ka lang. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? And they're they're also concerned about your mental state. Yung ganon. Um, we are a very resilient bunch, and I thank God for that. You know, mm. uh, that gift. Uh, siguro last but not the least. Uh, the least is ano, the gift of family. Yes. Very thankful for that. Uh, the gift of your loved ones. They're always there. You know, na nakabaliw na to. But you can just go to them and say, you know, parang kakabaliw, parang araw-araw, ganito na lang, di ba? Parang papasok ka 8 a.m., tapos ka 8 p.m. or 6 a.m. Pero buti na lang, you have family. Mm, ganda. So, yeah. yun, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, before I close, brother, um, you have one last message for those who are listening and watching. Mm. Uh, well, before I say that, bro, um, I, I, again, I'd like to thank you uh, because I am thankful because this allowed me opportunity to reflect. Mm. And it also reinforces the convictions that I have. And it's also, you know, ha- while I say it and uh, while I speak it, it's also, uh, it allows me to, ano, to back check, to double check myself. Sige ha, sigurado ka, sinabi mo yan. <laughs> Paraduhin mong ginagawa mo yan. Because it's, I mean, no? it, it's, when, when you say it, it's a commitment. So it allows me that, not just reflection, but it allows me to recommit to my convictions. Yeah. So thank you for that. Uh, I, I guess my message to your viewers, to your listeners, uh, where I am now, it, it was not overnight. Mm, it was not overnight. I had to go through transformations, various transformations. And if there's one lesson that I continue to carry and it, it, it is born out of the transformations, born out of the, my own evolution. I think you mentioned it earlier. It's, it's serve others, create value, all others that's good for you will follow. 
serve others, create value, all others that's good for you, it will just follow. Wow. Maraming salamat bro sa time mo. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you for everyone that's watching. Um, so powerful. And, and wherever you are, I just want to tell you, for those who are listening and watching, um, you don't need to be a VP to create impact. You don't need to be a VP of a company or a conglomerate. You can be whoever you are, wherever you are, and help people. And then slowly success will come. You know, in my reflection, um, success is all about serving people. And the more successful you are, the more you should serve others. And I just want to pray for those who are, you know, receiving this message that you achieve success so to help others. And maybe, I hope you share in our dream, both of our dreams, that one day we will make the Philippines a great, great nation that the world looks at. And not for the corruption or the politics, but um, for the things we do, for who we are, no, for who we are as a country, as a nation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you again next episode. God bless you. And the best is yet to come.